Okay, what's up? We got uh, Junior Castro here. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm a fan, big fan. I've been following Junior for a few years. I've seen him over at Oakley Fight Club. Back when I was boxing over there, he came through. He had some pretty girls with him. <laughs> I was uh, a <laughs> big fan of that. You know, I like hanging out with pretty girls as well. I see him. He's a good fighter. He's one of the best guys there. And I was watching him spar, and I was like, damn, this guy moves well. So I've been following him around the gym. I've been following him through Chicago a little bit. Him and uh, uh, myself included jumping gyms, and I come back across him. And now I've you know built a relationship with him. He came to my last fights. And I just want to hear a little bit about him, and I'm going to ask him some questions here about where he come from and how he came up and on the fight grind. So, oh, sure. Junior, if you want to tell us how you started and yeah. uh, you know what, why you like boxing and maybe it releases some stress, but go at it. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I guess I started boxing kind of late in the game, right? And late for me is like uh, I was a senior in high school. Um, I, I, I've always been into like wrestling and, and kind of like contact sports, really, but. I was always too like short for basketball, right, and too too small for football. My friends would play baseball and soccer. I've been playing since they were like you know little. Yeah, yeah. So I couldn't really uh, I, I couldn't really compete with them. So then like, what's the sport I can do that's in the in the like I guess like equal, right? And this is like, boxing and wrestling. It's like uh, it goes by weight weight class. So like, there's not a huge discrepancy in weight or size difference, right? So uh, after then I started boxing after playing this video game, fight night video game. And keep I in mind, that. yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Keep in mind, I went to you know, it's called Prize Luis. It's like a predominantly black high school, and I was like, look at me, What's I'm it, like, where's it at? It's in, it's in Maywood. Maywood. Yeah, that's what, that's where I'm from. So okay. uh, yeah, yeah. So then, I mean, yeah, I'm really light skinned you know, green eyes. I was the only person in the so entire you're Hispanic. school. Hispanic. Yeah, yeah. I'm Hispanic though, but people sometimes get get confused, right? So that's then, uh, funny. Uh, I cut you off though, yeah, yeah, no, before we get too far away. Is that your story how you started? I was the same way. I was uh, like 10th, 11th grade. Yeah. And I couldn't, I didn't really get, I didn't want to compete in football or basketball. I, was, I didn't have the build for it, nor really the interest. Right, I wasn't right. really interested in it, but I did have an interest in being something, you know, right. you know the football jocks are running around and putting them on TV. I'm like, yeah, That's exactly. Like, That's something I could be good at. Right. <laughs> and then uh, my buddy, Ryan Stoner, he's like, hey man, I'm going to boxing practice after this. I'm like, I'm going to go. Yeah. There we are. You know, yeah. Same story. And I started. And I'm like, oh, I connected with this. Yeah, exactly. So cool. Yeah, we had the exactly. same kind of opening. same kind of upbringing. Yeah. In, in a sense, right? <laughs> so then, the so then, um, yeah. So I, I was uh, I could, a freshman. I was in, in wrestling, and so then you I wrestled I, too. Yeah, I wrestled like freshman and sophomore year. Then I then I quit. And then junior year, I started playing that fight night game, and I remember like towards the end of my junior year. Uh, I think I, I was like ranked thirtieth in in the world, right? In this fight night game. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was I was actually really. So you good. were already like in the vision of pro. On the yeah, game yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I was good, and I remember I, I was fighting the number two ranked guy in in the world, right? And obviously he beat me, he beat my ass. And, in this fight night. Uh, in, in this fight night game. What systems it for? It was for like Xbox 360. Yeah, Xbox it was a while ago. But this guy is talking shit on the mic, right? He was like, "Yeah, fuck you, kid. You know, you, like your balls haven't even dropped. You're still like a little kid, this and that." <laughs> And we're going back and forth, and after he beat me, he's like, hey, man, I was just fucking with you, you know, it's, it's just the banter. I'm like, yeah, I get that. So he's like, kid, how old are you? I'm like, oh, I'm like 16, I was 17, I think, at the time, yeah. I'm 17. He's like, how come you do this in real life? I was like, damn, I never thought about it that way, you really? know, so I'm like, yeah, and it's funny, so I'm, you know, I'm, I have some friends who box, I'm going to ask them to go with them. Next week, I go in this gym, see these guys sparring, right, tall black dude sparring, um, I want to get in with them. Like, are you sure? Like, yeah, I'll get in with him. Get in there, beats my time. ass. You know, yeah, he beats yeah. my. I'm bleeding all over the place, and I quit boxing. I'm. Like, it was a one and done, <laughs> one and one and done thing. I'm like, I don't want to go back. And then uh, I ended up going back a couple weeks later, and I got I got good, and I, I stuck to it. You know, I was yeah. there every single day, and the dude came back like six seven months later, and I'm just like beating his ass. You know, and that was like, the best feeling in the world. In the game? No, 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 in real life. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Like, after after I joined the boxing gym, I I quit the game all, all together. Um, but I beat that dude's ass who beat my ass the first time, you know. So it's like a, a comeback story, right? So after that, I I always came back, and I remember I had my first fight against this kid. He was like I was like 17, 18. This kid was probably like twenty five, had like a kid already. I'm like Jesus, right? <laughs> yeah, and then it was my that. first fight. This kid had like two fights, and I'm like whatever. That's not gonna let me. It's not gonna scare me. So I, I get in there, he beats me by like split decision, and I thought I won. First fight ever, I was mad. Um, get the rematch a month later, beat his ass, I win unanimously, right? I get to meet Jesse, um, 
uh, the Secretary of State, Jesse. Uh, Jesse White. Yeah, Jesse yeah, White. Jesse yeah, White. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I get to meet him, him in person. Him. He was at that event, Best right? Way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jesse, he owns <laughs> he was, the road, I think. Yeah, he was at the he was at the fight, so it was like a great experience. So he's seeing you fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it was, this is what you're uh, an it was, amateur. Yeah, and it, so it was one of your first ones. So you have a so was my you had a lot of success in the beginning beginning of your career yeah. of win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, after I guess that second, that first, my first fight ever was lost. I, I, I avenged it right away. My second win was against the same guy, and I won unanimously. So you, you, you had a. Oh, so you lost your first one, but yeah. then since you you beat him again, you kind of got your redemption, and then you kind of went back at it because exactly. losing your first fight is kind of. I didn't lose my first fight. Mm-hmm. I won, and nice. that was like a extreme boost for yeah, me. Yeah, exactly, well, exactly. I got some. If you lose your first fight, yeah, I, it, it, I, I was yeah. depressed and I was mad. I'm like, I don't want to. I, I quit boxing again. You know, yeah. I, I think I stopped boxing for like a month and I was like bored at home. I'm like, all right, I guess I'll do it again. Came back consistently for another co- couple months and then I came back, rematched that guy, beat him, and then I think further down the line, probably four fights later, I fought him again and beat him again. So uh, I got the I got the. Wait, I never fought the same guy twice. <laughs> oh, before. I thought. I mean, especially if they beat me before, I definitely want to get a chance to, to beat them. And usually, I think every person I fought, I think besides this one guy, I, I lost against. I re- redeem myself. That's an interesting so, uh, yeah. thing that you have. Yeah. I don't have that tape. And, where I'm just like, oh, he beat me. Fuck. No, no, <laughs> no! Definitely have to get the best of it, man. I, I can't let someone have a win over me like that. And not well, that, try, not hunger. try to beat him again. You that's know, some hunger. Maybe that you try to think about yourself. You're like, man, where do I get this drive from? Like, why do exactly. I get up and put this shit on and go get punched in the face? Because I'll be honest with you, in my later days in boxing, like I, I have a lot of gym time, and I'm yeah. around, I don't like to get punched much in the face. <laughs> um, and ever, of course, everyone says that, but. Now I got I got I got a lot of shit going on and these yeah. headaches are for real these days, <laughs> yeah. dude. And I come out of the gym with a swollen up nose and a puffy eye and a headache, and I'm just like, yeah. nah, I it's got shit to me. do exactly. tomorrow. And exactly. And yeah. Yeah. And, and for me, man, you know, like like my friends say, I, I'm I'm a full time accountant, right? I, I don't yeah. I don't I don't need to be doing this shit, right? But I want to. That's a thing. You're, you're it's 24? a difference. Yeah, 24. You're still or, young. You're yeah. still you're still young. in the boxing career. You know, like you're young. I mean, you get the, the pros are in their 30s when they. When they prime out, exactly, exactly. They're, prime, they're maybe primed to what, maybe thirty six. Mayweather pulled it off to almost yeah, forty. Yeah, I mean, they're, like Bud Crawford and all those guys are, they're like I'm thirty three, going on thirty four probably. They're a little it's bit impressive, older. Impressive, but I mean, I think a lot of athletes are going later. I'm not a football fan, but I know like Tom Brady, he's big shout out. Yeah, they're to, look, he's like going on forty, right? Retirement, and you got retirement. <laughs> like, man, that's the move. You know what? We're just gonna retire and come back for a new hype. Yes, that's exactly, exactly. And I'm like, come on, man. Like, why see, he did it like twice already, so it's not really it's insecurity or some shit. Or it's yeah. like. Dude, He's bored at home. It. Oh, yeah. you, you hate your wife now? Oh, <laughs> you're not happily married no more because you are home and you're dealing with it. And you're, yeah. yeah. I think that's got some shit to play with. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, not to get off topic. Um, but yeah, back man. to boxing. Let's get back to... That's how you started. Yep. Where you want to be. Yep. And then where you're going, which is your next fight. We'll talk about that. So, like, what do you see yourself coming out of this next fight? What do you, of course, you hope for the W, yeah. but you got to have a next move after that. Yeah, where you're like, for sure, for sure. I win this 100%. Game, going. Yeah, and, and I see a lot of, like, um, boxers in Chicago, a lot of professional boxers in Chicago kind of, like, you know, they, they have, like, they're, like, what, 8, 9, 10, and 0, right? And they're, all the fights are in Chicago, right? Or in Hammond, or, or in, in close this by. area. I know yeah, there's, there's yeah, like, yeah. 15, 20 gyms. <laughs> I could go down and list the yeah, names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fighters are coming out of one of those. Exactly, exactly. And, and then my goal is, you know, I want to have one, two, maybe three fights around this area in Chicago. And then that's that's a cap. From that, I want to start going, you know, to places. I have connections in, you know, Miami, connections in, in California, um, Mexico. You know, I want to have fights everywhere. That, that gets way. Me excited. Yeah, I mean, it's still fun, you know, and, and obviously you're not going to be at your home crowd, you know, but at the same time, that's how people are going to progress. Ah, and, and we were talking level. about that, me and you, about how our crowd come with us online. Oh, that, exactly. And the streaming exactly. back while we're exactly. here, while right. we're streaming. It's funny you mentioned Miami because there's a gym I told you about. The yeah, box that be out, yeah, yeah. Uh, docs are, and oh my, dude, the talent in there. I don't know if you looked it up yet, yeah. but you, when you said Miami, yeah. no one else is on, like, let's travel around and yeah. fight. I'm yeah, on that level. Yeah, 100%. You're on that yes, level. But these sure. promoters around Chicago, they want to keep you in Chicago. They want to keep the money here. And, and I understand money. that I understand to a certain, that. certain point. That's right? that, like you're capping the fighters. Exactly. That's what it is. Capping it's like at this, point, at this point in time, it's like these promoters, right, they, they want the fighter to stay in Chicago because they make more money, right? They sell tickets for the for the hometown advantage and all that stuff. And, and But the thing is, like, you're capping the fighter. You're not The fighter's not going to progress. He's not going to get, like, that national um, recognition, right? So let's say, boom, I fight in Miami one time, I fight in Texas and California and 
in Iowa, who knows, right? You're gonna be like, oh, that Drew Kessler guy, I've heard of that guy, right? As opposed to that guy who's like, you I'm know, on your level, I'm, yeah. yeah, 10 and 0 here in Chicago, like, oh, I've never heard of this it's guy. It's not big you know enough, it's not big enough. That's what I'm saying. What I'm saying. Everyone's online, I'm following people, yourself included, with yeah. all these girls on my Instagram, <laughs> not one of them from Chicago, they're on beaches. <laughs> I've seen that it's kind of a smaller circle once you get to know the big circle. Exactly, exactly. And uh, I like everybody, you know, I'm, I, my angle is, not so much promotion as more as uh, content production and Good. maybe providing a network to host boxers with my event studio. So I'm still finding my angle. So yeah. I've been working with promoters and I just did that last fight, which we had you, you were yeah. here watching, yeah, yeah. put that fight on. And I learned a lot from the streaming, how much publicity that got. Yeah. Everyone was taking pictures at home on their couch of their you know, the family member fighting exactly. at this fight. And it was fun, man. And it was a fun, fun event, too. And it's a fun event. And it was, it, 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 it's fun and it was different, you know. I haven't heard of an amateur show in Chicago nor anywhere else that had it streamed, you know. Yeah. And that brings in a lot of more people. You know, let's say people don't want to travel. It was cold. It was cold that day, too. It was people cold. don't want to leave the house, you know. And then, it was like, wet and if snowy. I can, exactly. And if it's a Saturday, Friday night, I'm bored at home, you know, if I, I'm a regular person, I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to stream this fight. You know, 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks. Well, it was 10 bucks, too. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. Like, exactly. The amateur fights. I want everyone to be able to afford it and yeah. try it out because they didn't trust the platform. Exactly, exactly. And then every, there wasn't one complaint. Everyone enjoyed the fight. The whole thread yeah. was going on. People were talking. Nice. Huge success on that, and we're it's gonna fun. do another one. And, 100%. Um, I think we're gonna go on the pro debut nice. style, and, yep, yep. getting a pro fight, and that'll be fun. Make sure you're on the card, yeah, for that yeah. Or, so, uh, I, I guess just to transition on to, to and I guess I finish up here just on my pro fight, right? So, it'll be my, my professional debut April 2nd, right? So, it's been a long time coming, man. Eight years, eight, nine years now. Um, yeah, I've seen I'm, the article, you did a write up on your pro debut. How let me t tell us how you got that fight, like. Tell us your last amateur fight, and you said, all right, we're going pro after this. I want to know your mindset yeah. when you decided you were going pro. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I had this mindset since 2020, right? But COVID happened, and then just shut everything down, you know? And that's when I originally wanted to go pro, 2020. Um, and then COVID happened, so kind of postponed everything. Things started opening back up 2021, and that's when I had some some more fights. And and uh, were you training hard with COVID? Oh, 100. percent I mean, gym you, you know, not. I, I I mean, all gyms were closed. You know, <laughs> so so. Oh, uh, yeah. Who are you fighting under right now? Like, let's go go back. We didn't even talk about. Are you fighting under anyone? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Called? So my coach, he just opened his new gym. His name is David Ortiz, and he just opened his new gym called the Barracks. Right. So, I follow the Barracks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I so the so I, I've yeah, been, I've like, been there. Yeah. I've been there for the past. Uh, I guess like since it opened up in November. But I've been with him for the past three years. You know, and uh, I remember when he first took me on. I had uh, the fight. Before I, I went with him, or I think two fights before that, I had lost against this kid. It's, so, it's oh no, a different kid. Yeah, a different kid. I, I lost unanimously, um, and it was bad. This kid was real good. I think he had won the gloves or something. He, he, he was good. And then uh, first fight back, David's like, all right, we're gonna fight that kid again. I was like, oh, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like uh, <laughs> see, that, that one, that one, I did not want. <laughs> I'm like, this kid, he's just like a typical uh, Mexican fighter. Does not get tired, you know. He's uh, he just keeps coming forward, pressure, pressure, pressure. Yeah, yeah, no, and I'm not I don't want to gas out. And I'm like, and last time in the last fight when he beat me, and I told David, I don't know if I'm gonna take that fight. He's not overtaking it. And I'm like, man. So we train, I, I believe, for like six months together, right? Where he's adjusting to my style. I'm adjusting to his little like tweaks in my in my in my in my, in my boxing so you, style. So you listen to his coaching. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Uh, to change to this fighter because he's like, I can get you to beat this guy. Exactly. That's really powerful. Exactly. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I'm like, you know what? I'm, I I trust in you, and uh, obviously you trust in me. You, you, obviously. You say I can beat him, so. Lost, and he still believed in you. Yeah, exactly, exactly. To run again. <laughs> right, right. So then, uh. Fight night comes right and I ended up beating this kid unanimously, right? And uh, it was the best feeling in the world because I, I, I beat him. Because you already lost. Convincing, and exactly. And you didn't even kind of didn't believe in yourself. <laughs> exactly, like, exactly. And that's what it was. Sometimes you just, you know, lack the belief in yourself when other the other person sees your potential, your like coach. you can do it. Right, my coach. And that's why he's your coach. Exactly. And, and I won that I fight. And then after that, I think he's like, you know what? Enough of these like local shows. Because uh, these are all like, uh, you might lose a, a close decision just based off politics, For right? For sure. Uh, if the, oh, the yeah. kid is more well known, they, if it's a close fight, they're going to give it to him. And, and I, I've lost my fair share of those, and, and I'm tired. And he's like, let's go to the national level. 
uh, you know, the USA. And that's where you start thinking travel, national level Exactly, travel. exactly. So my coach put me on with that. So I think uh, second fight, he's like, there's a fight in in, um, in Green Bay. It's a Green Bay versus Chicago uh, fight, right? So it's like, you know, that rivalry with Green Bay Packers versus the Chicago Bears, right? Okay. So I'm like, I'll take it. Um, this kid weighs in, weighed in at 135. Obviously, I fight at 125. The kid's like, can you move up a little bit? I'm like, I'll come in at 130, right? He's like, all right, cool. Kid jumps You're not on. even trying to lose weight. Right, right, I'm not. So then the kid walks in. I think he, he, he weighs in like at 135. I weigh in like at 131 or 132. So he's a little bit bigger physically, you know, and but he's, he's probably taller. walking around at 150. Exactly. Ex- and that was, and that was 130. Like, right, right. Yeah. So I'm like, man, this guy's going to be stronger. And, and, you know, he's probably going to look, he's going to be bigger. He's going like, to be pressing forward. Um, it was a good fight. I beat him unanimous, unanimously um, in his hometown, in Green Bay, right? In Green Bay, Wisconsin. So we, we, we uh, I was working in Miami at the time, or Orlando, actually. Flew into Chicago that same day. The same day we drove like three three hours to Green Bay, and I got the win. After that, we go to this uh, USA National Tournament, right, with the national qualified yeah. uh, fighters. Uh, first time ever at one of those tournaments. It was really so this is a tournament, win. not yeah. a fight. This is not going yeah. on any any card. Exactly. This, this is actual like US. This is an uh, Olympic qualifier. They call it right. Oh, man, it's it's like, I always wondered about these tournaments. I've seen them on yeah. TV on Netflix yeah, yeah. specials. And, 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 stuff. and they're you know they're uh, the, the US is top elite fighters. Right? How do you get invited to that? So I guess you, you can apply, right? But I mean, I mean not apply, but you can just join. You can you can sign yeah, up. Yeah, right? I, I don't and, even know. Any, that. Anyone can sign up, right? But it's it's at your own peril, right? It's the the the, the nation's best. Yeah, fighters. you're not gonna go piss away your money just to say you put out. <laughs> exactly, it. and you have to travel, and pay for the hotel, and also you're fighting like, like I said the the nation's best fighters, be right? So be I, I, I won't go if I have like 10 or 15 fights, right? Knowing that I can fight a guy with you 300 got a fights. Amateur uh, fights. I have 70 fights. Yeah. That's a lot of fights. Yeah. You know, so I remember, an amateur fight. Yeah. You started yeah, yeah. later in your career exactly. and exactly. you're younger yet. So I mean. Right. And, and, and during this whole time I was in college too. So it's like, uh, so it, 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 it's hard doing, much. yeah, it was hard, but I, I managed to do it. But I guess just to ca- cap on the story, um, I went to this national tournament my first time. I uh, uh, beat this guy from like uh, I, I think Maryland, and uh, it was it was it was a great fight, you know. I, and I won and I advanced. I couldn't continue after that because my my damage my my uh, my wrist. Okay. So I mean I think I made it to like the quarterfinals after that one win, but uh, but the guy that I was supposed to fight made it to the finals. So that kind of gives me points as well. It's yeah. a weird pointing system, but uh, I mean after that, then I'm like at that point I'm like I'm going pro for sure. Uh, after COVID kind of settled down, you know, the, uh, the Omicron variant kind of like held things back and all that stuff. Could it help um, you, man? Gave you some infrastructure and like gave you. It gave me a different perspective for it sure. Gave you a different perspective. Yeah. Uh huh. That's gave me. That's why I this fight started streaming. Yeah. Because no one was allowed to come watch the fight, so then I started streaming the fight. So it was a blessing in disguise and yep. a weird angle for me, maybe for you as well. So, so it looks like you're. You were brought kind of on the national level because your new gym, the barracks. Yeah. He's thinking. I was wondering why I don't see him enter into like competitions around here. I don't yeah. see him much get involved. Yeah. And then you, he's on a national level. I yeah. see him traveling a lot. And yep. he's taking a different angle. Exactly. And making a private more of a. But I seen his gym. I follow him in his gym. Mm-hmm. It gets popping. It yeah. It's yeah, popping yeah. with the locals. Yep. But he is taking a private gym and taking on like a. What do they call a stable of good fighters? Exactly, in, exactly. In and like his son right now is ranked number four in the I nation. I follow his son as well. Right, I see right, him. Right. He, that's where I met you. You were sparring yeah, his son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, so and, and he's real good. And, and he's more focused on those like national tournaments. Right? And, I, I think in, in, in these local fighters, yeah, they're good. But like, let's say, like I said earlier, like, if it's a close fight, the, the kid's more well known. His father used to be a fighter, or whatever the case may be. The kid's gonna get the decision, the, the, the decision right? The win. Yeah. And it's, and it sucks. It's gonna damage the other kids. Like uh, ego, even though he won the fight, he didn't get the win. For sure, I see. I see yeah. it happen too. That's just, but that's the politics of the sport. Exactly, exactly. But yeah, I guess just to to, to wrap up everything, right? April second, my pro debut. It's been a long time coming. Um, I feel good. I feel strong. I haven't felt this good in a long time. So man, I, I feel like I'm. I'm reaching my, I'm, I'm advancing towards my peak. You know. Yeah. Like you said. Hey man, well, I, I'm all about it too, and. I'm glad that you came in today and we yep. got to chat a little bit. Thanks for having me. Me and you are both going to do a sweet workout here. And then yes, sir. We'll do a post-workout chat. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We'll do some, do some uh, camera footage as, as along the way, too. But for sure. Now let's get a workout in, man. I love hearing about you. And I'll be a good fight. And uh, I promote, I help promote you Yeah, as well. yeah, 100%. And, uh, I'm a sponsor. Yeah, no, hey, thanks for being my sponsor. And thanks for being in my corner as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm always in your know, corner, so. man. I'm, I'm yeah, pointing yeah, it all the way. Yeah. You know, you're my first pro fighter to that. really kind of grab a hold of. And I know you personally. So yeah, exactly. I'm excited for your career too, man. Yeah. Thanks hey, man. Thanks in. a lot, brother. Appreciate yeah. you. Let's get it. Good.
Cool, we just got a good workout in. Sure. Uh, sure. Man, when you guys are around, I tell you. I feed off your energy, dude. Absolutely. I don't. I don't get a workout when, when I'm not around you guys. I, you breathe like, hard here. I bring it hard because <laughs> you guys go hard, and like that's who I want. No one wants to be the half-ass guy, right? That's so right. Go, and I got to be at your level to even work at. Right. You know, I can work mitts on the right-handed guy like you, and I go switch to left-handed. Yes, sir. I look like I did not look good. You know? like, <laughs> But I got some work on the other side of that. Like I got to get better training a left-handed southpaw. Absolutely. You know, professional, someone who's a professional, not an amateur. Sure. So I'm not creating him bad habits. He was like, "Nah, you do it this way. We're gonna move here." Right, right. So Helping I you learning. are too, you know. Me too. Oh. I'm learning, but he's teaching me how to pivot. Yes, sir. Because I'm trying to get away with you guys. Because I'm tired. <laughs> on the midst, I'm like, oh, all right, if I cut left here, like, he's gonna be like, take a chill and like rotate. This, he's pivoting so fast. He's already on me. <laughs> I'm like, if I was fighting this dude, I'd be losing right now. <laughs> I want to run away from the mitts. Yeah, yeah. And every angle I turn, he was pivoting in me. And I'm like, that's the difference. Yeah, that's no. what I'm saying. That's the difference. Yeah. The pro is going to teach me exactly. those kind of things. And I'm just happy to be working with you guys. Thank you, So sir. how did uh, – I didn't really get your name or what you're about. Give a little intro on you and why you're here and how you know. Man, uh, my name is Christian Kalunga, but everybody knows me as Dids. Uh, I met Junior in um, – 2017 yeah. but it's funny thing is he actually went to school with my older brother so he knows my older brothers they know him and yeah. stuff like that so uh, he wound up coming to the gym I, I started at in 2017 and uh, we sparred and he kicked my ass <laughs> long time time. Yeah, yeah. Long time ago. I didn't even spar when I see him I, yeah, I was watching ago. from far like, yeah. and then uh, over the time we kept on working he's the one that introduced me to our, our uh, current coach right now David Ortiz and, uh, and I think in August of 2018 uh, they took me out to my first, like, out of gym sparring. Me, him, we sparred at Unanimous, and uh, there was a few other guys sparred. And then over the years, you know, just keeping in contact with them, I, uh, you know, uh, showed up to the grand opening to the barracks. And a couple weeks after that, I was like, you know, this, this is it. This is going to be the new home. I see I see yeah. the grand opening of the barracks. I was following him. Man, yeah. it was beautiful, you know, and we've been working ever since. We just got some work yesterday, you know, yeah, we're sparring. Yeah, we just sparred you know, like four or five rounds yesterday. You know, Funny quick story on your coach Ortiz. When I built this facility two years ago, he I was marking the space for a boxing gym. Oh. Uh, he uh, Lalo told him about, about the space, and it was in the area Humble Park. He came in and looked at the space, mm -hmm. and he just didn't see what I was seeing. I, I yeah, seen this, yeah. and like I'm like I'm not looking to be a boxer, but I'm looking to have a facilitate to facilitate boxers. And we had a different vision, and I, I noticed that we were a little different. And he, I noticed he wanted his own space, like yeah. the barracks. Yeah. And I wanted a, a studio right. like this. Right. With Something a, more with private. A, yeah, right. with a boxing ring in it. So it would never worked out looking yeah. at it. But it was funny because we started at the same time, our visions. And we he finished about the same time I started bringing in fighters. Yeah. He was just doing his grand opening. So we, it took Crazy. us the same build-up yeah, time. Yeah, same time, man. That's I'd like right. to bring him in and tell him, hey, I know he knows who I am. Yeah. Like, hey, I talked to Tyler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All of his fighters are hanging out Yeah, here. We, can, we can all come in here. And yeah, we're going to work together session. anyways. Yeah. If he wants to do national promotions, you know, yeah. I can help with that because that's my vision too, right. but not take the fighters. It's, you guys are with him on the fighter. Right, I'm right. the promoter. I'm right, the, right, right, right. the event promoter. So anyhow, run it by him when you guys get a chance. Yeah, that's yeah, funny absolutely. how... All, all of our stories are bringing together the same person. Yeah, 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 yeah. A few blocks away too. It's a few uh, blocks away. You know, hop and skip. You know, stones throw away. Uh, this is a, a, a beautiful area. I thought it was gonna be like a couple. Blocks. I was surprised. Me like uh, Junior told me yesterday. He's like, yeah, it's uh, like close to the gym, a couple blocks. And when I mapped yeah. it, I was like, holy shit. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like you uh, it's a hood out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, it's only a three minute drive though from here to over there. Yeah. You know, it's not that far, and that's what we're saying. So but the corner here though, it's not that you come yeah. up on that corner. Yeah, yeah. Like, but see, that's, that gives it a better authentic boxing gym. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah. So then you walk into this place, and it's like, where am I? Yeah, I've, I've been to that. I've been to all the boxing gyms in, in Illinois, and Chicago, right? So I mean, I've been to the South Side, Forty Seventh. You know, we had boxing. That's one thing about boxing is like, have you been to Hamlin? Yeah, yeah, everywhere, man. Yeah, yeah, that's boxing is huge. Stuff. You know, I've been, I've been, you know, I travel a lot, as you know, right? And I've been yeah. to gyms in, in Miami, in, in, in California, in Texas, you know. And, and regardless of the area it is, you go there, you're going to box, you know what I'm yep. saying? It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't matter what the fuck it, you know, if, it's hood, yeah, if it's a hood, yeah. if it's a, uh, you know, a richer area, yeah. but you're going to box, you know what I'm saying? I like that. And that's what you're going there for, and so it right. doesn't matter exactly. the area for boxers. Exactly, so exactly. That's good exactly. stuff. Absolutely. Yes, sir. So I noticed your workout, though, you're pretty standard on your workout, you know, has a way to pull him off his workout. It's like, hey, man. Hitting the bag, come asking some questions. So I know you do the jump roping, you do the bag work. Do you have a routine that you stick to, or do you mix it up depending on the day and area? 
Yeah, I, I mean, I guess I, I can go first. Uh, so I mean, my my thing's pretty pretty traditional, right? Every single day, the same thing. <laughs> Repetition, right? Is, right. Good, is, that, is that a good thing in boxing? Uh, I mean, obviously, you have out? days like you have like uh, strength and conditioning days and stuff yeah. like that. But for the majority for the boxing training, it's um. Typically, when I'm not with coach, you know, he does power with us and stuff like that. When I'm not doing power work, I, I usually, every day I jump roll 15 minutes, uh, 15 nonstop minutes. Then I shuttle box for four rounds with the weights. I usually do like three with the uh, three rounds with the weights and one yeah. without. Practice my, my southpaw stance. And then uh, I hit the bag for about like uh, eight rounds in straight in, in a row. And then I take a round break and then four more to do a total of 12 rounds. So you're at, right now you're almost at 20 rounds if you're yeah, yeah, uh, counting yeah. rounds on everything. You're... Exactly, right. And then uh, after after the bag, I hang out for like a round or two, and then I hit the speed bag for about two rounds nonstop, and then sit-ups and pull-ups, and that's my traditional uh, workout every single day. I get in a stretch in there, uh, <laughs> so, so some point in between the workouts, you know, yeah. stretching's important. So. What's, your right. fa- what's your favorite, what's your favorite uh, workout? Oh man, honestly, like, oh, man, that's a honestly, man, I, I love the jump rope. I'm a huge jump rope fan. Uh, when I first started, I sucked at it, <laughs> but but now you know I I can do a bunch of tricks and shit. You know, I can do like double yeah, one, yeah, 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 three sixty, <laughs> all that fancy shit. You know, no, and makes you happy to do it. Yeah, 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 and, and that's why I love jump roping. You know, and, and also the speed bags. It's yeah. fun hearing that rhythm. Me too. I love the speed bag yeah. when you're good it's at it. Fun. Right, yeah, exactly. Absolutely. When you're good at it. When, <laughs> when, when, I, when, I, when I first started, man, I would do like a minute. I'm like, fuck this, I'm done. I can't get I can't get the rhythm uh, while I'm done. But there's always uh, people in the gym watch it too. It's barely get to practice with no one around. Exactly. So it's like you gotta go Absolutely. through the humility. Exactly. Like, Everyone's like looking like, at quit you. Quit doing that. I'm trying to train in class, and you're over there. Brr, brr. <laughs> Someone's trying to usually train in class too. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, is that dude pissed? What's that boxing shit? You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I think all the time, right? Exactly. Yeah. Well, what, what do you? How about do you, bro? Right? What, what about what about you? What's your routine? Man, we start off the same thing. Get in the gym, stretch, uh, and we warm up with the uh, jump rope. Four rounds, just like him. Uh, the it's about 15 minutes of uh, uh, constant jump roping. After that, start shadow boxing just to warm up some more uh, with weights. Uh, sometimes, with, most of the time without him, but I recently started doing it with the uh, two pound weights. Feels great. After. That helps a lot. So the weights, you guys both talk about the weights. I don't do it with the weights. You gotta try. You'll see how your hands. <laughs> yeah. I'm picking up from you guys. Yeah. Like everything I think it helps. I think Shadow it helps. box with the weights, and then go hit the speed bag after. Your hands are gonna Your be fine. Like, I yeah. always tell people that no, the speed no. bag. A lot of people at the speed bag, they'll they'll hit it and they'll drop their hand yeah. almost to the ground. I'm like, you ain't ever gonna get up there fast enough. No. Yeah, you gotta, exactly. It's gotta stay there. You can't right. do this. Your shoulders gotta be up here. You yeah. Know? yeah. You people drop their hand. Yeah. You never time here. Like lifting every time. Exactly. My biggest one on one thing that people do all the time. Keep your hands. So, yeah, helps on the speed bag. But yeah, so cool. You guys got a good workout in. You got the same. You got basically a routine. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, it goes about twenty rounds. You guys are looking at. So yeah. if you want to become a professional fighter, you better be looking at twenty rounds <laughs> daily. Right? And you better be in here on your spare time in a quiet, dead gym, traveling, He's spending his time and logistics. These guys are to come to gyms all day. That's the, that's what they're doing with their time. And I'm Ooh. just thankful that you guys can come and I can get to feed off some professional athletes energy while I do my workout because it's giving me the high, a good high. So I like to keep this going and yeah, I enjoy no. you guys coming around. Of course, um, yeah. Thanks for having us, man. Yeah, appreciate yeah, the hospitality. Nice Your pro debut is when, or do you have a date yet? Uh, nothing yet, but it's going to be coming. soon. It's going to be, pre- it's going to be after his. It's right gonna be after after yeah, yeah, one fight at a time. You guys are going to go yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, cool. Absolutely. So let's give a shout out to Barracks Gym. Absolutely. Um, yes, Coach Ortiz. I know him. Uh, I see him around. I see him online. Him. He's a mean mugger. You know? <laughs> <laughs> He's got that serious face on. Uh, but he trains some really good athletes, and I'm thankful for his athletes to come and hang out in my facility and train with me. So you're going to see us around. Uh, I'll see you guys around. Thank yes, sir. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Thank you, brother. April 2nd, guys. Let's get it. April 2nd. Let's go. April Let's 2nd. Get it.